like we liked catchy things. Yeah, right? great hooks, man. Yeah, yeah, like cheap trick. Cheap you know, perfect. cheap trick, right? Like uh, the the cars, the like cars. that kind of stuff that we liked. And then we also liked putting on a show. We also liked dirty guitar, T Rex, right? If you uh, yeah, you, you know, uh, yeah, or early Bowie, ele elements of of Iggy Pop, but mm -hmm. but then with a kind of a modern production. So we never got the, part of the real. It's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one. When you look back, honestly, you were like, it was, we made, I'm proud of it. Like I really, there are times in, in your life where you're like, holy fuck, I made a record with Bob Ezrin. Bob Ezrin produced Pink Floyd, The Wall. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit, that's amazing. Like, or I haven't heard my, my music literally for sure for five or six years. Uh, Cause I have CDs really? of it, but I don't, you know, I, they're not even on Spotify or whatever. People can find it on YouTube. There's YouTube six I or eight or 10. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, the, the, there were probably only 10,000 of each record, maybe 15,000 sold. So there's some online somewhere, mm -hmm. but I haven't heard it for years, but when I hear it, I'm like, wow, we worked really fucking hard on that. Yeah. We worked on our craft in many, many ways. Mm -hmm. I was driven to, you know, learn to kind of be more poetic, which I always kind of liked language. And that's a big part of what I do now. Mm -hmm. I would really like performing. I would do high jumping kicks and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, what, where, when I really looked back at it, when I went to fight, was I realized that the, the most important roots, which was for me was become a better singer. Like yeah. take lessons, warm up, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, train your voice. Like mm -hmm. that aspect I, I overlooked or I hid behind. Yeah, but I can do fly, uh, high flying kicks. We were known for our shows. I was a great entertainer, at, at least according to the audience that we had. Right. I learned to write lyrics that mattered. I was driven. I was organized. But I, I didn't focus it on just the quality of the singing. Oh, but Rob, so when I went to being really hard on yourself, man, like so sick of you. Awesome song. Well, like, thanks, man. Thank you. Really but that it's truthful. Uh, I worked really hard to make them to be able to do it in the studio. But even live, I wasn't as good as I should have been mm. or could have been. And I know how. And th this is where when I went to fight, it was like, I don't have a nickname. I don't have a fancy walkout. I don't have a fancy outfit. I don't talk shit. I don't be flashy. I'm going to I'm going to focus it entirely on the quality of my fighting, wow. which got me further than it would. I started fighting late, but it was the lessons of understanding how I had tried to avoid my weakness, which was the actual root fundamentals of the, that aspect of the craft. And like, thank you for the kind words. And I do think when you hear the records that I did the job in the studio to make something that worked, but then live five nights a week, six nights a week, four nights a week, for weeks at a time. I just wasn't a good enough singer mm -hmm. by the standards of what I could. So that was an area I could have done better. Yeah. Uh, and I should have, but the lesson of that I carry with me forever. Now, I, if there's something that needs to be improved, I don't avoid it and say, yeah, but look how good I am at this. Yeah, but look, I can do this thing. Yeah, but look, I, yeah, I go and I, and I look at it face on and I try to, mm -hmm. to look at it face on. But uh, 